Howdy lads and gentle gents, in the last video I talked about that really strange GameCube controller that was obviously multi-platform and the only difference between it and its other controllers were the plug itself. So I also mentioned that WaveBirds and most um, modern controllers use radio or either use radio frequencies or Bluetooth. Let's go back before any of that came out. Here we have the PlayStation 2 remote control in its original packaging, and this is from 2001. It's new old stock, excuse me, and and uh, it's actually not that expensive to get this in its original packaging. Uh, it's like 12 bucks to get this. Now, I'd love to say that this is going to be a first impressions unboxing, but it's not because uh, unfortunately I've already scored the back end so that I could do this with it. So at least the packaging isn't destroyed, but there's some interesting stuff in here that I would actually like to showcase. So we got the uh, display cardboard here. Let's get that out the way. We have an entire instruction book that if you open it up, I'm sure it probably tells you that you're not supposed to shove it down your throat. My DVD is finished. Press the open button. Now, I've actually had one of these uh, remotes in the past, but I never had it brand new. Which, to see one like this in the flesh is really strange. Okay, I'm having some trouble here. Let's get it back open. Come on. Okay, there we go. Now, what really threw me off is the fact that they actually have... And I'm not sure if this is an actual DVD... It says DVD player lecture DVD. Lecture. Is that how you spell lecture? Oh no, what language is this in? I'm going to bring it up close to me real quick. Let's see. All rights reserved. Okay, that's all in English. Sony Computer Entertainment. They just wanted to spell it right. This is all shrink wrapped too. I do want to take it out of its packaging so bad, but I kind of don't want to open it you know but seeing as you can get one of these packaged brand new old stock um it, it might actually be worth just doing that to see what's on this dvd because i'm genuinely curious i really am but i've also noticed that it must not be a regular dvd because it's it's still got that early ps2 game color on the back you know you know how like ps1 games were uh, black on the back they had to be different from everything that was there at the time so that people had a harder time pirating uh well they did that for ps2 games at the uh beginning like near the system launch they had a lot of games like that and they just switched to regular dvds after that and i'm not sure why but i do want to see this so version 212 so 2.12 um i might do i might capture uh the uh video from this we'll have to see i could probably capture it from the ps3 if it lets me but i know it has like software that tries to prevent you from doing so anyway open this back up pull this little thing out the way and let's actually get this stuff out of here now we have um, we have the receiver, the remote itself. As you can see, God, I don't want to damage this too much. I want to keep this box around. Oh, ooh, it's painful. No, oh, cat wants out. Let me deal with that real quick. I'll be right back, guys. What's up, buddy? Well. There you go. Okay. Right. So, as I was saying, I don't remember what I was saying, but here we go. As you can see, this is actually uh, an infrared signal. You can't have anything blocking the way of this remote, or else it just won't work. I mean, that even remotes nowadays are like that, unless you have something special, a TV... I have on the living room is brand new as of at least a year ago and it too 
runs off of infrared, so that's some interesting stuff. Glad to look in there and see that it's not all corroded over, but that is because this is technically brand new as it is. So what also came with it are some batteries. They came from Sony themselves back in 2001. See if they're any good. Ultra black. I bet those were the shit back in the day, but uh, now they're just kind of shit because, well, they're old batteries. I don't know what to do with these. I'm surprised they haven't, like, leaked alkaline or anything like that. It's so interesting just to look at that. And these batteries came out when 9-11 came out, and that's nuts to me. That was a really fucked up thing to say. Why did I say that? Right. Back to the remote. Now, like I was saying, I've had one of these remotes in the past. They work just fine, and it's actually a really handy thing to have for your PS2, especially if you're using it as intended, which they sold the PS2 as a sort of home media device. I'm going to take this protective plastic off because we don't need that. Nice and shiny. Look at that. Oh. The wave bird's kind of stealing the show. There we go. Yeah, nice and shiny. Look at that. Very square. I don't know why, like, at some point in history, we thought, like, round wasn't the future. Everything had to be square. Yeah, like the GameCube. But, um... Where was I even... Yeah, no, uh, they sold the PS2 as a sort of media system, and uh, because it could play DVDs, and no other console was really doing that at the time. When the Xbox launched, they did allow that, though you actually did have to have the Xbox remote in order to do that. The Xbox 360 following suit with the HD DVD drive, which I have one of, I have yet to test it, I had to get the cords for it first, and then the PS3 playing blu-ray which my ps3 is my blu-ray player so that it'll always be that way and the ps4 didn't play anything and the ps5 also doesn't play anything when it comes to media because that shit's dead everybody's streaming now so um yeah this, this is actually a, a really handy thing to have and um if i could direct you to stop skeletons from fighting they actually go over what games you can actually play on this remote and it's incredible and I really should link it down below in the description because I really recommend giving them a watch and, and and really checking them out as a channel they're really really great at what they do I love them they're fantastic um, I don't have much else to say about this remote aside from boy it looks blocky I just pulled it out of the packaging and it looks dated you know <laughs> of course it does I mean I don't know why everything had to be boxy and jagged at the time. Like, they, they just had no clue, you know. But then again, it's just a remote. Let's I can grab another remote from the time just to uh, sort of show that it's actually pretty normal. Here's another TV remote from the time. Rectangular, sharp, jagged, nothing special. But actually, now that I look at it, this is actually sharper and more jagged than this. Interesting stuff. Uh, I have nothing else to say about this, and I really don't know how to end it. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and maybe I'll come back with that, um, with whatever's on that DVD, because I'm genuinely curious. I want to know if it's like a bunch of guys in baggy pants being like, let me show you how to use your DVD remote, dude. Pause in the middle of Tony Hawk 720, bro. Something like that. That's what I'm kind of hoping for. I want it to be stylized. Not just like, here's an introduction to your remote, you know. But we'll see. Anyway, thank you guys for watching.